Hello, hello. I see there's two of you so far. Where's my chat? Say hello if you're here. Hello, just waiting on some people to show up. What's up, bro? Sense. Uh, just to let you know, my name is actually Justin, <laughs> not Jason, but I actually do get that often for some reason. But it is Justin. But good to see you. Let's see. Hey, Dan, what's up? JDAG17, hello. We got Juan Alexander, hello. Good to see you. JDAG, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know how it goes then. Hey, Onen, Conrad, are oh, you good, bro? Don't worry about it. Aqua Baby 5, hey, just gonna again allow people to keep coming in. I didn't give any further notice, so we're just going pretty uh, spontaneously here. Hey, Dennis, hey, Charles, thanks for being here. I believe, hey Tyler, I believe it is Navitus. It is in a, uh, what do you call it? I'm so tired, I can't even talk. It's Latin, it's a Latin word, and I've heard Stephen from Red Adolescence uh, say it as Navitus, so I assume that is what it is here. Elvis, what's up? All right, I wanna wait till we get, you know, maybe 20 or 30 more folks in here and we will start the stream. Uh, quickly, what is, what's everyone doing right now? I know we're all still stuck inside, still kind of in quarantine and whatnot. Hey James, uh, what are you all doing? Let me know. What's up, Christian? Just scrolling through here. I gotta say, I'm still pretty new with this whole live stream thing. This is my third one or fourth one. I'm still getting used to it, so thank you all for bearing with me here. Um, unnecessary cleaning of the house. <laughs> Sounds like you're cleaning an already cleaned house then, Justin. Uh, Alexander, yes, I am on the West Coast here. So it's still quite sunny. I'm trying to avoid the sunlight, but I also really like it. I would rather sit in the light, but it's just gonna look weird, so I'm sitting away from it. Um, reading a textbook, all right. Backlog of 100 plus samples. I feel you there, Jake, I got a ton. I still got a smell. Let's see, you doing a video, bro, all right. Yeah, Elvis, <laughs> you gotta be careful for the People eaters. Okay, you're still working, Tyler, huh? Yeah. I am currently facing West. You're right, Juan. Podcast, Chris? Are you asking if I will do a podcast? I'm trying to keep this thing from sliding down. What am I going to do? Hopefully that works. All right. Ah, uh, Bro Sense is asking, Sin of the Day. Um, you know what? Let me, let me grab it. I'll be right back. All right. Send of the day is Zaharoff Pour Om, signature Pour Om. Love this stuff. Man, really, really love it. So I decided to reach for this. It had been a little while, uh, but I'm enjoying this a lot today. Put this, you know, I'm not gonna put that there. Uh, I'll put this somewhere outside of the sunlight. Okay, all right, we got a few more people. Hello, Montal Paris Chocolate Greedy. Yeah, it's super chocolatey. Did Stephen from Red Adolescence work on these fragrances with a perfumer? Yes, he did. He worked with multiple perfumers, James, actually. Uh, some pretty well-known ones. 
Um, I know one of them was Bertrand du Chaffour, who was legendary. Um, I'm forgetting the name of the two others. If you know, leave it in the comments. Colonia Senza, Conrad having some Ciroc. All right, <laughs> rough day, huh? Enjoy that. Mario, all right, egg. Uh, okay. Yeah, Charles, it is sold out at Nordstrom's, uh, the Zaharoff, but I believe you can still get it from their website, or at the very least, you can get a sample from the website, which I highly recommend. Okay, so I don't want to be on here too long, taking up too much of your time. We're going to dive in to this. Now, I was very gracious to receive two discovery sets from Navitus. The old one, which is, I think, their original, like, maybe seven fragrances, which I haven't opened yet. I, although I have smelled them, I actually did smell them back in November. I went and visited Stephen at his house when I was in New York City for Red, uh, excuse me, for a Scent Explore. <laughs> And he actually let me smell um, the whole first collection before they came out. So I was going to save that one for later because these just came out. So I wanted to kind of give my first impressions on them. I don't know anything about them. I've seen the bottles. They look beautiful. But I'm going to give my first impressions. So we're going to crack into this. If you're just now joining, the title and the thumbnail speaks for itself for doing a live first impression of Navi Tooth. So we have three fragrances in here. I feel like I already smell some, maybe not. Uh, there's three in here. I'm going to struggle to say them. They are Latin. Arcanum or Arcanum, I'm not sure. Arcanum, which I would imagine is like arcane or something supposed to be like old or ancient, maybe. Um, Lautus. I'm not really sure. And Apulentas. So we'll see here. Um, okay. I'm going to read the back here just a little bit. Read it as quickly as I can. Limitless potential, undying love, eternal return. The infinity symbol conveys the sentiments that, are, that transcend our realm of consciousness sent to is infinite. He's talking about the symbol of the brand. It is an infinity. From invoking memories of times past to awakening our most primordial instincts, smell is eternally mighty. Raw materials have a resonance with the human spirit that connects beyond our temporal understanding. They inspire confidence, sensuality, curiosity, opulence, and more. Stephen, <laughs> good to see you in here. All right. Uh, Navitus Parfums is the olfactory expression of this mystifying concept. Originally meaning energy, Navitus is the fragrant energy that inspires and transforms us. Navitus is scent without restraint aimed at bringing to you the glorious art of perfumery without any boundaries. Whether your goal is self-improvement, overall wellness, or a sense of refreshment, Navitus Parfums caters to your every ambition with elegance. There are infinite reasons to wear fragrances, and each one is as unique as you are. Wear it for life, wear it for infinity. Welcome to the world of Navi Tooth Parfums. Really well written. Cool. So if you didn't see Stephen, Red Lessons himself is here. Uh, so you can give any correction or direction that I might need as I kind of dive into these fragrances. But thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate it. Hey, Kazembe, what's up, man? Uh, I hope you got my message on Instagram. We'll have to catch up soon. All right, so let's open it up. Got a sleeve. I'll pull that off. Inside the sleeve, you have the box. And then from here, it looks like... How does this open? Ah, opens up from the top. All right, I'm glad I got that right here. And... We have a little card that gives us some information about the fragrances. I'm not going to read this for now. I'm going to read it after I smell them. This presentation is gorgeous. This is much more than I expected. Um, wow. Uh, these are 15 milliliter atomizers. Look at that. 
beautiful. Each one is colored, I, I imagine corresponding to the full bottle color as well. And we'll just start with the one on the left here. Jeez, this, this is beautiful. Again, this is Lautus, if I'm saying that right. Nice heavy weight to it. This cap is substantial, much more than you would expect from a travel atomizer. That's pretty incredible. So, um, I don't have the best forms of spraying on strips, but now I just have these little pieces of note card. So we'll just make these work. So here we go, I don't know anything about it. Totally blind. And a fantastic atomizer. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow, this is, this, it kind of has, at least off of the paper, it has a little bit of like a vintage vibe, almost like kind of 1980s fragrances. Um, I get uh, an aromatic nature, maybe lavender in here, but also kind of uh, almost oriental in the background and... Again, there's something like almost like heavy patchouli or I don't know, something reminds me of a, a more older vintage fragrance. It's fresh, but it has this deep richness. I'm actually going to close this. This is getting ridiculous here. All right. I'll turn on the light. Okay, that's better. Yeah, this. Wow. Okay, I'm just going to read what we have here. So for Lautus, they have a little description um, to be rather than to seem. I think an esse quam videri. I think that's Latin for to be rather than to be seen. And in Lautus, let's see, we got top notes of neroli oil, verbena, lavender, and yuzu. Okay, definitely getting that pop of lavender. It's very fresh. It's a little sparkling. Man, it's beautiful. Heart notes of juniper berry. Um, what is that? Cascaria. Don't know what that is, actually. Stephen, if you want to enlighten us, if you're still here. Freesia and Oris. So we got a little bit of a aromatic but floral heart. And there's definitely like a little bit of a thickness, almost a creamy nature somewhere in there, maybe from that orris. And the base notes, ambergris, palisander, rosewood. Not sure what kind of rosewood that is, but it is a woody note. There is patchouli, sandalwood, musk, and vanilla absolute. I thought I got some vanilla in here. And this was created by Bertrand Duchefort. This is quite beautiful. Man, again, it has this older world uh, nature to it, but there's something kind of inviting and even a little modern about it. This is gorgeous. I really, really enjoy this one so far. Not what I expected. So we're going to set that aside. Put that over here. That is really nice. We'll let that dry. Okay. Let's check the chat. How are we doing? How's everyone doing? If you're just joining us, thank you for joining. Ah, yes, yeah, Stephen, thank you. I'm glad I got lavender right. <laughs> Let's see. And after we're done here, I'm going to put a link in the description of the website so you all can go and check out Navi Tu's Parfums. Uh, let's see here. CJ City, what's up, man? Haven't missed a whole lot. We're just doing first impressions. So uh, we got two more to go. Again, if you're just joining, we're pulling from this box, which is the three brand new releases from Navitus. We just smelled Lautus. Again, if I'm saying that right, gorgeous presentation for travel atomizer. That is just stunning. <laughs> I'm just drawn to that. So we're going to go for the middle here. I see red or brown, or maybe it's red, or maybe it's both. It's kind of an orange red. And this is Arcanum. Arcanum, Arcanum, I'm not sure. Okay, I love that. This is gorgeous. Again, nice weight to it, heavy cap. I'll read it after I smell it. So we'll spray this one. Here we 
we go. And let, let's see if you can see this sprayer. Yeah. <laughs> what more do you want? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this thing, these things fill up the room. I can't remember the last, I think the last time I smiled this much while doing first impressions was when I was with Steven smelling his original collection for the first time. This is beautiful. My gosh, what is this? Okay, I think I smell something almost oody in here, but it's kind of resinous and balsamic, definitely sweet. Wow. There's uh, there's a woodiness in there. It, it's kind of almost leaning towards dirty, skanky. I could be wrong about that, but this is, and it's kind of oriental as well. I feel like there's some kind of oriental presence, but again, there's also some resins in here, I think. And it's interesting. When I smelled Lautus, um, just like Steven, if you've been following Steven's channel, let's see. Labdenum, vanilla, absolute tiny bit of oud. Oh, geez. Well, thanks for confirming, Steven. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm going to take a look at the notes here in a second. It's interesting. For Lautus, when I smelled this, um, similar to Steven, I am also kind of synesthetic. So I do associate... My senses kind of cross each other, especially dealing with colors. Um, Lautus, the scent of it does not really remind me of this color so much. If anything, it's more of like a, more towards green and maybe even like a purple in there, but it's, it's different for everyone. And this one, this one actually does remind me of the color. This one goes perfectly. I'm gonna stop talking so much. I'm gonna read you what's here. So for our canoe, we have Carpe Noctem, which means seize the night, which I love. And in the notes, we have cinnamon. Totally, definitely. You know what? Now that you, I see cinnamon, the opening of this reminds me just a little bit of Par from the Marley Herod, but the cinnamon note in there mixed with some coconut and frankincense tears. So there is a little bit of resinous quality there. Heart of Labdanum, Osmanthus, and Laotian Oud, okay. And base notes of Dark Amber Woods, Vanilla, and Tonka Bean. And this is a Jorge Lee composition. Man, this... I honestly did not expect to like these fragrances so much off of these little crappy pieces of paper. But I am enthralled by them. This is... I'm, I'm impressed. This is beautiful. How we doing over here? All right. Yeah, the bottles are great, aren't they? Okay. All right. So, again, thank you all for tuning in. I'm not going to keep you much longer. We got one more to check out. I'm going to open this up, and we're going to pull out the last one from its beautiful little bed of slumber. It's like satin slumber. And this last one is... Opulentas. And such a gorgeous gradient. It's kind of ambery, like orange and red, but then it gets like rosy pink at the bottom. So interesting. So, you know, sometimes, at least for me, because I associate color pretty strongly with scent, it can be very easy to see a color and then kind of have a, you know, a predisposition almost or even like a, a prejudice towards what it might smell like. Um, gorgeous. So let's see. Let's see what Apilentas is like. Damn, that sprayer is great. Okay, these things are powerful. Okay. This one also smells like the color for me. And I find that when the color and the scent match up, they there's like this synergy there's this connection that is made and the scent just kind of clicks for me now this one is it's very sweet and it's quite floral this is almost for me like candied floral like like a very sweet bouquet of flowers but it's like again almost candy sweet there's a little bit of freshness to it um 
There's almost like a fruitiness in there too. It's like fruity floral. And maybe even just a touch of like green in the background, but I'm mostly getting floral with sweet, almost fruitiness. That's all I'm really getting right now. There's something else in the background that I can't really describe. It might come out more on skin. But let's read what this is about. So Apilentas, we have the quote, Qualis Rex Talis Grex. I'm pronouncing these terribly, I'm sure. And that means like king, like people. Yeesh, my bad. Here's what we have in this. Top notes of apple, pink pepper, and lemon. Okay. Yeah, for some reason, I'm getting apple for sure, but the apple and the lemon, they're so sweet. There's something that's making them so sweet and almost like candied apple and candied lemon. Heart notes of rose cypriol. Okay. There is oud and patchouli in here. I knew I was getting something almost green and earthy. The oud, I almost detected the most in the air. When I first sprayed it, I smelled like something almost oudy, but I didn't really trust my nose. Cypriol is an interesting touch. That's a note I'm still trying to wrap my nose around. Um, it's kind of like a woody note from what I understand, almost like an old, like, you know, aged wood kind of scent, but I don't really know it that well. In the base, we have amber woods and oak moss. I knew I was getting some kind of green, woody earthiness. See, now that it's drying down, I like it more. At first, it was a little much for me. It was a little too fruity, floral. Not like feminine, so to speak, because I'm not even concerned about that. I would wear any of these, even though a lot of people might consider Apilentas maybe more feminine, even just by looking at it. But I think that it's beautifully unisex, and it does have facets here that can court you know they can cater to anyone really i mean it's fruity floral but it, it starts drying down into some really rich green and earthy kind of woody nature to it jeez i'm yeah i'm liking it more as it dries i'm liking it more the sweetness is dialing back a little bit this was created by chris carbonell who is fantastic as well so overall i am thoroughly impressed let me go back and smell the other one. So this, again, if you missed it, this is Lautus. Yeah, this is gorgeous. This is kind of a modern take on a more traditional style perfume from like the 1980s or even 70s. I'm reminded of something like uh, Zeno from Davidoff. Heavy patchouli, but also has a, an oriental nature from vanilla. And Zeno has that as well. And if I'm not mistaken... Yeah, this one also has vanilla. It has patchouli. I'm getting that vibe. Lavender, vanilla, patchouli. That combination, along with other things, is reminding me of an older style. But there's something a little sweeter in here that I like, which makes it just a touch more modern, perhaps. So that's good stuff. I would totally wear that. It's almost, again, it's kind of like a fougere, if you want to know. Almost barbershoppy, but there's a lot more complexity to it. Or Ar Arcanum, I'm never going to say that right. Stephen, you're going to have to give me some lessons here. This is gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, again, ever since I saw the notes, maybe this messed me up. I saw the notes, I saw cinnamon, and I'm immediately now thinking of Parfum de Marley Herod. But this does not have tobacco like Herod has. It has a, so in the background, it's a totally different foundation. The oud in here is what makes it quite different, and the uh, the resinous quality also changes it quite a bit. I this might be my favorite one. I gotta say it. And Apilentas. Wow, I, I like this one even more. The first spray is really sweet, but now it's settled. It's beautiful. This is good stuff. I am thoroughly impressed by all three. Um, Jeez, this is wonderful. I'm going to put these back in here, lay them back to rest until they are to be used again. And from what I can tell, these are pretty strong. These are some strong fragrances. I think they might be, let's see, maybe it says on the bottom here, 74% alcohol. So they are, 
Wow, okay, they're at least over the par from, if I'm not mistaken. I'm struggling to do math right now because I'm so tired. 80% would be 20% oil. 75 would be 20. Oh, so, yeah, we're talking like parfum. Yeah, <laughs> parfum concentration, pretty much. They are very strong. Thank you, Stephen. I see that. And they're 25%. Thank you. Uh, my brain is working slow. I've been working in a warehouse the past several days, so I'm just kind of like, you know, battery drained here. Okay, so. Yeah, Chris, these, I would imagine these perform for sure. This is beautiful stuff. So, Stephen, thank you for being here. Um, congratulations on such wonderful fragrances. I can't wait to share my thoughts with everyone about the original collection, which I will plan to do at another time soon. I have time, I'm sure, as we all do, so I will revisit them. Um, also, thank you all for being here and for watching these first impressions. Um, it's always fun. These are like my favorite types of videos to watch and to film. I don't film them all that much anymore because I have found that not a lot of people seem to like them as much as I do um, in terms of viewership. But I appreciate you all being here, clicking on it nonetheless. Again, once I finish this live, once I wrap it up, I will leave a link in the description where you can check out Navi 2 so you can get your hands on some samples if you're interested in trying them out and either the new collection or the old collection, you can check them out there. But once again, uh, any last minute things here? Let's make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, thank you, Stephen. No, thank you. My, me and my family were good and I hope you and yours are as well. And same with everyone. I hope you all are staying sane, staying well, reaching out to people you love or you at least like <laughs> and touching base and you know keeping each other uplifted and supported in this strange time we will get through this at some point it's inevitable um, and in the meantime nothing wrong with smelling good check out Navi Tus link in the description thank you so much for tuning in I'll see you in the next one